Hi there, Dr. James here from the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority for another summer reef health update. So we're now firmly in the start of summer and let's take the opportunity to look at the spring that we've just experienced. So we now know that the spring for Queensland was the fourth driest on record and the fifth warmest. But what does that mean for the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park? Well, at the moment, we're mostly seeing temperatures around average. And that's probably because we've had a relatively mild winter. So it means that any warming is a bit more of a buffer before it becomes a potential concern. There are, however, some reefs in the marine park that are experiencing temperatures slightly above average. So some reefs off Townsville in the inshore region, and also some reefs south of Mackay inshore and on the mid shelf. So it's obviously really important that we keep watching what's happening as we move through summer. Now we don't only need to watch what's happening, we can also uh, forecast what might happen because we have some excellent tools from the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia and also the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration in the United States. They've both developed models that help us um, predict the thermal stress that we're likely to experience in the coming weeks and months. And currently those two models are in broad agreement and what they're telling us is that the southern Great Barrier Reef is likely to experience some thermal stress in the next weeks and months, so particularly in January. And we may well see a peak of thermal stress, particularly in the far south of the Great Barrier Reef. So that's uh, a group of reefs called the Capricorn Bunkers that are off Gladstone. Uh, and in February, we may see a peak of uh, temperatures there. So certainly we need to be vigilant. But I think it's also important to mention that we're still some way away from February and the prevailing conditions between now and then, so the cloud, the rain and the wind that we might experience will really determine just how warm it gets and what the risk of bleaching is for the marine park in general. Thanks to everyone who has provided input through our Eye on the Reef app or by jumping online and using our Eye on the Reef sightings network. We really appreciate hearing about what you're seeing if you're lucky enough to be out there in the marine park. And we've had several reports uh, in the past week of large blooms of algae in some parts of the marine park. Now this is actually fairly typical for this time of year. We believe that it might be related to the coral spawning that's just happened. So the bacteria that feed on those coral spawn then turning into these clouds of algae that can be red or green in appearance. Now, as I've said, they're relatively normal and we're not particularly concerned about them at this point. But they can get very large in size, covering hundreds of square kilometers. And that's potentially uh, a problem for reefs because they can smother uh, the corals. So we'd really appreciate hearing if you're out there and you see these um, algal blooms, please let us know. It helps us to inform our management and decide if we want to investigate further. That's it from me for this week. I'll see you next week for another Reef Health Update.